waiting for the heating to turn off so that the sound quality of the video will be better this is it's taking a, a while but uh, okay Okay, the heater finally went off so I can finally start the video. Hi everyone, I hope you're having a nice week and a nice day. Hopefully you've accomplished a lot of positive things today, like eating healthy food and going to the gym or even just watching 15 episodes of Star Trek, which is an excellent show. The, the, yeah, I guess I'll tell you about my day too. Well, first, my ankle kind of hurts. I'm not sure why or what I did to it, but it is a little bit sore probably because I walk a lot. I walk about an hour a day. I'd consider anything more than 10 miles in a day to be a lot of walking, but anything between one and five is pretty mild. I haven't had a car since high school because I don't like cars and I decided instead that I'd rather just walk everywhere and get lots of exercise. But one of the th things that is difficult when you don't have a car is uh, to, to get groceries. Whenever I get groceries, I have one backpack full of groceries and then one bag on each shoulder and then I walk up a hill with all of my groceries which is a pretty good workout. I think that probably the average person wouldn't be able to do grocery shopping the way I do. Maybe if you are all interested I can do a vlog of me grocery shopping so that I can weird out all of the neighbors and everyone in town who will be confused why I'm filming as I'm carrying bags of groceries on on myself. But if you, you are interested in that, put a note in the comments and I might read it. The theme of today's video is the ocean. The ocean is a very relaxing atmosphere that helps a lot of people get to sleep, which is the point of my show, Falling Asleep with Mark. So if you can't get to sleep, I hope that you will find this video helpful. The ocean has a lot of water in it and is actually composed of lots of oceans and often times the water moves and oscillates creating ocean waves which hit the shore and create a, a relaxing sound. So as you're trying to relax and go to sleep, picture yourself in a hut on the beach with screen windows, but it's cool enough that you're not hot and you can hear all of the, the waves of the ocean roll up and down the shore. And in the background, you hear little crickets and cute animals playing and singing songs 
and koala bears are are all uh, all around you and panda bears are are outside waiting for you to wake up so that you can play with them and there are are flying squirrels from the trees and they're smiling and they wish you a, a good day and a pleasant evening they say don't worry about anything in the world because right now it's time to relax and to get to sleep and to feel happy and good about yourself and the world so let's take everything that is not part of that away just for a few moments as we go on this journey through this ocean video. The name of the video is Going and Coming an Ambient Meditative Moment, which is a very nice video. There are many of them by Stephen Ballinger. And this is, like most of the videos, a Vimeo Creative Commons video, which I can use in this video. So let's say thank you to the person who created this video. And now we get to repurpose it in a way that will hopefully benefit even more people when we take the ocean imagery and combine it with the relaxing sounds and then the monotony of my voice as I say random things that enter my head and help you on your journey. Let's start by thinking about the ocean. What is the ocean? The ocean is made up of water and salt, but the ocean is more than that. Let's think of the ocean symbolically. The ocean is your soul. The ocean is your happiness. The ocean is calmness. It is literally anything you want it to be. So imagine the ocean as an emotion, or as a feeling, or as some redeeming quality that interests you, such as being more giving, or being less giving if you are one of those people. So just take whatever that is that you have pinpointed and it doesn't have to be something that you put much thought into it. It should be more of a gut feeling. Pick whatever arrives to you the most instantaneously, and that is the feeling to go with. I'd say mine is calmness today. I feel rather calm, which is a, a nice place to be. It makes me think about bubble baths, which is probably what I'll do after this, to sit in a bubble bath with lots of candles or just one candle to be simple. And that is the mood I'm feeling right now, which I'm going to, uh, and to, to make bigger or larger. I can't think of the word right now through additional activities like the bath and the candle. So you might want to do the same thing with the emotion you've picked. Let's say it's gratitude. So upon listening to this, you might want to do something that involves thanks. Perhaps a, a prayer could be one of them or to make a list of people or things you're thankful for. Maybe your pet, cat, dog, or 
anything like that. So now we have taken the ocean as a symbol of whatever that feeling or intention is. And let's bring it back more literally to the ocean. So just breathe in and out as you think about the ocean waves and the oscillations of that feeling. So let's take that feeling map it onto the ocean and then animate it so let it move let it have a life of its own what does that look like what does that feel like to you if it gets a little bit confusing bring it back to the ocean think of the ocean more literally just as waves water, water molecules, droplets, all composing this giant, giant thing called the ocean, and in fact, many oceans. So let's just take a moment to feel all that. No need for me to speak, we'll just meditate for a moment. Just whatever feeling you're feeling, let it through. If it's a good feeling, you might want to hold on to it if it's staying there. If it's a bad feeling, see if you can release it. Or sometimes it's necessary to hold on to that feeling for a moment to feel what is going on, to feel in general. And then once you are through with that, to let it go. And that would be one key to relaxation as well as to falling asleep or to enabling the ability to do that by clearing away the things that are preventing it from happening. Nice. Just want to say good job to you all in case uh, someone doesn't say that enough to you just the fact that you are working on this is something that's great let's think about the inside of the ocean for a while all of the magical creatures inside of the ocean the coral reefs the clownfish the octopuses or octopi the manatees and dolphins and sharks that look like dolphins and the walruses and seals and piranhas and seaweed minnows catfish giant carp all of this is part of the ocean and it's amazing to think about all the variety there is of all of these animals that all share this one ecosystem or bits and pieces of it where there are little niches of coral or perhaps the open water they all share the big ocean and the big ocean in turn has many different areas to it I'm going to pause for a moment for this siren to go by. Okay, now picture yourself on the beach now. So you're walking on the beach, you're wearing all cotton, some nice breezy outfit, barefoot walking on the sand, perhaps with family or friends, just going up and down the shore as you listen to the waves. 
Perhaps you see an animal like a sea turtle. Or perhaps you see other people sunbathing, kids doing a, a sand castle, uh, some elderly person with a metal detector looking for treasures as my grandpa probably would do if he lived closer to the ocean every day and uh, perhaps uh, someone reading a book maybe you'd want to do the same thing so just think about that let's say you do want to read a book and you envision someone reading it and it gives you a good feeling well after this if you're still awake go do that just go pick up a book and uh, spend a bit of time just doing what you find to be relaxing in that moment. Okay. I'm gonna leave you all here at this point. I feel like you're in a relaxing place and uh, if you're still awake you can move uh, on to reflection or whatever your next step is. Like me, it's probably gonna be a bath. That might be an option or to read a book or just to calm your mind or to keep following that feeling you have now. If it's gratitude, relaxation, calm, serenity, just go with that. And if you're asleep already, Good for you, that's good. I'm glad it worked, which is pretty much the point of this, for you to relax, to fall asleep, and sometimes to just have a sense of humor. I kind of alternate a lot between the serious and funny, just naturally, and it's nice to have those two together. Sometimes intention, sometimes just one or the other so go ahead and if you find these videos helpful go ahead and uh, subscribe or like or make a comment at the bottom uh, all of that stuff and you can read in the description about all of my goals and plans and different links to stuff and all of that stuff about subscribing and liking things that does something that I'm not sure what, but people say to do it, so just uh, go do that. And hopefully it will mean some positive things for me and for the Falling Asleep with Mark channel. And let me know in the comments if there are any other ideas you're interested in, such as me reading a book, either just audio or, or visual as well, or uh, a voice illustrated old comic that is public domain because it's so old, just to have the images and to uh, narrate them, which I would find rather fun. And of course, more wonderful nature videos and some different themes coming up. Okay, good night.